Hello everyone, all who are one body of Christ. Our Savior welcomes you to this day the Lord has given us together. Today we will be meditating upon. Today's failures can define tomorrow's victory. Before we start, let's see what scripture talks about in this topic. Matthew chapter 25 verse 23. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we have just read. If we act in faith and work with our due diligence, even when we don't see success in the short term and often wrongly misinterpret and consider our challenges as our failures, we must continue our journey and move forward in the faith of our Creator. When we step in faith, our fails are not failures. In the eyes of our Creator, when we step in faith, we always triumph. When Whether or not we are successful or not, on our terms, it is the preparation of our bigger victory. When we step forward and trust Him, our deliverance is imminent by God. Our God is not an on-demand enabler who makes our every step of our and endeavors successful. We must take this as a journey of faith. Part of a Christian faith is being willing to dream and ready to handle the difficulties, making them a challenge to overcome by trusting Him. What it means is being willing to take risks by knowing that our God is always with us, trusting that God is in control and we are not. Ask His wisdom to strengthen us and provide heavenly wisdom to overcome what is against our victory. Though it is easy to say on paper, but in practice it can be harder and painful. And once we have been burned by our failures, it can be incredibly difficult to take another risk. Fear of failure can stop us in our tracks, but if we are not taking risks, then we are not living a life of faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. This message also gives us a promise for our day today. The promise is, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness, I say to myself. The Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for Him. Let's close this time in prayer together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Mighty, Wonderful God, Lord, I am thankful for all of your faithfulness. Lord, your hand is always upon me, leading me to trust you in all my circumstances. You are the one who built my confidence to trust you in every area of life, showing me the right path to trust you in all I want I do which is right in your sight. Lord, continue to lead me and use me to live a life of gratitude, looking towards you and moving forward in faith that whatever you will do will be for my benefits. You have blessed me to be a blessing for others. I pray that you continue to reflect light of your hope in my life. Make a light of your house so others can see your work and be blessed by it. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. Have a blessed day, everyone, and if God's willing, we will talk to you tomorrow.